I wanted to come to Africa because it's an opportunity in a lifetime for my boys and spend time with their granddad. It's one of those that they'll cherish forever. Hunting with Ubanins has been unreal. It's awesome, five star, everything from food to the company is outstanding. The Ubanese Lodge is five star in my opinion and every meal was amazing. The staff was always friendly, always helpful, always there. Steve runs a great operation here with people that he really trusts and it's just awesome. I mean, I would recommend this place to anybody. I chose to hunt the Niala because it's just a beautiful creature. They're fun to watch and I knew uh, they present a bow kill, but you have to really work at it. So we've just come up onto the top of a, of a hill here looking down into the river. We spotted a magnificent Nyala bull. Uh, the wind's good, uh, there's a lot of cover, so we're gonna go give it a bash with the bow and, and hopefully we can, we can come right. The first day we had the two unsuccessful stocks. The first one we spotted it, beautiful, beautiful nail right away up high. And then we went down to the riverbed and we were probably 20 yards from him, but he didn't offer a, a good opportunity for the bow. And he got just skirting the, the tree line and never gave us the opportunity. And then he was gone, just like that. but we did have a shot present, but it was a non-mature bull. So Steve said, don't, don't pull the trigger, let it live. The Niala is just a beautiful creature. You can't really describe it until you see it. And then you just know the way the mane is and just the color with that white and brown and that, those stripes, just a beautiful creature. 18 yards at first, just with that brush. And then that brush got us. I think let, let's leave him. We run back down and work with this one that's in the cover, yeah, yeah. Because we're just gonna push him further now. Oh, the Nyala hunt was awesome. It gave us a slip two days in a row. I went out again and we spotted it and it wasn't in an ideal spot. The snake them right here about 20 yards away because they're feeding this way and we don't want to pressure them. So we're gonna just sit here until they show up or we get tired. And it kept going behind the bush. So we had to go all the way around it and then double back on it and find a little spot where we had a shooting lane for the bow and just kind of sat there and waited. We sat for probably about 20 minutes just waiting for the Niala to present a shot. And then once he came out, he presented himself broadside beautiful. So I took the shot. Good shot. Yalla down, baby. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> that is what a good arrow looks like. Clean pass through, blood all the way. God, look at him. Your thing's beautiful. Hold on, Jack. Thank you, sir. Awesome, awesome. Way to put me on him. Beautiful, yeah, I like. I would have never got him if he didn't find him. All worn down tips, flaring, ivory, the ivory on the sides. Look so. how white. Just... 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Doesn't get much prettier than that. Well done. Thank you. The white ivory tips right here and how it's rubbed on the sides, you don't see that very often. And how sneaky he was. He was really starting to make it personal. I mean, he is a beautiful old bull. You don't see many of these guys running around places. Lucky enough that Steve had him and we put the stock and got him. Eventually worked out, eventually fed towards you and, and, and got a good shot, I think 30 yards. Yep, 30 yards. Um, a lot of patience. That's what that's it took. It. And yeah, well done. A, a magnificent animal. Really good old Nyala bull, broomed down, ivory tips, ivory on, he, on, his, on his soil there. Um, yeah, magnificent. Well done. Can't wait to taste them. Yep. Tonight for dinner. Yeah, that's very good meat. I would recommend this place, Uben Easy Lodge and Steve, to, uh, to pretty much anyone. It's a great place, five star. You will not be disappointed.